We're standing in front of the Keelsdale mock-up of the station. This will be iconographically uh, the, what people see on Eglinton. And so I think, you know, because they are all quite similar, although each one adjusted to its individual context, this is what people will see. So just as you understand the Paris subway by the tendrils of the flowers, you will understand this particular system as, as part of a system. So it is, I always said, it's like a string of pearls. They should all be the same. There may be a brooch at Young and Eglinton or a brooch at one of the other the terminal stations, but that, that reading will be very important to people as they get dropped off by a cab, they don't have to say, "Where's?" The, but where is the station? Where's the door? They'll know. Mock-ups are so important because it's the opportunity to really create and build what the stations would, will look like. Uh, it's utilized to check construction, let's say, strategies, but the quality strategy also associated to that. So everybody could see and have the same kind of formalization, and that's quite important. The mock-up we have over here, just in my back, is uh, the builders decided to do a one-to-one mock-up because of the 25 stations. They wanted to test the constructed the construction strategy. They wanted to test the uh, construction assembly and so on, and optimize them. The ability to have to set standards through the mock-up uh, of all stations is really critically important. It's also important to troubleshoot issues. So if there are uh, gaps, you know, things that we don't think about. Let's not repeat them 25 times. Let's find them now and negotiate through to the right solutions. Let's assess uh, color palettes and, um, you know, smart, smart thinking uh, that can happen with a mock-up rather than once you get going, you know, the first station, they go, oh, maybe we should have done something else. Uh, we'll see it right here in the mock-up.